Umami is a website with recipes. One of Umami's recipes was just featured on a TV show. Because the featured recipe is getting so much traffic from people who are watching the TV show, we want to take advantage of that. We don't have time to involve our development team, it's too slow. As an Umami editor, I've been tasked with creating and adding a new banner on the recipe page that links to a special offer. I'll use the layout builder to do this. This banner is new content that doesn't exist elsewhere on the site, so I start by creating a new block and entering the content. Since I'm using Layout Builder, I immediately get a preview of what the banner will look like. It looks good, but I think it would be better to replace the existing image with the new banner. So I delete the old image, and using Layout Builder's drag and drop, I can move the new banner into the place that the old image was in. It can be cumbersome to move large items like this, so I use the Toggle Preview checkbox to show small textual representations of the block instead. This makes it very easy and fast to move things. Alternatively, I could use the keyboard or screen reader to navigate and use the layout builder because it conforms to web content accessibility guidelines recommended by the World Wide Web Consortium. This means it's accessible for everyone. If you are a keyboard user, it's actually very fast. In this example, the block is being moved using only the keyboard. The Layout Builder supports all the basic use cases that you've come to expect, but it also supports more complex workflows. For example, you can send layouts through a staging or approval workflow. As such, this recipe has remained unchanged throughout this editing process. Now that I'm happy with the way the page looks, I can publish it right from the same interface. Staging layouts is not something that many systems support, but Drupal's Layout Builder does. In this example, we showed a fairly simple workflow, but because it leverages Drupal's powerful workflow engine, it can handle very advanced workflows too. I now see my new banner on the published page, and it looks fantastic. As you can see, I was able to add a banner in just a few minutes, and with Drupal's workflow integration, I was able to do that safely. No need to involve our developers. Next, let's look at another advanced use case. Instead of editing the layout of a single page, let's edit the layout of a collection of pages. This is particularly useful for large sites with hundreds or thousands of pages. Umami did a usability study on its recipe pages, and one of the takeaways was that users get confused with the white space below the image. The UX and design teams have recommended that we display the recipe information next to each other rather than stacked below each other. We have hundreds of recipes on our website, and it would be very tedious to update them one by one. Fortunately, I can use Layout Builder to update all recipe layouts at once by modifying the default layout for all recipes. Here we are looking at the layout template for a recipe. I've added a new four column region in between the image and the ingredients, and now I can drag and drop each of the recipe quick stats into those columns. After saving the new default layout, I go to my content list page, click on a random recipe, and I can see that the new layout has been applied. Much better. Being able to edit templated layouts like this is a powerful differentiator from other layout builders, and it's a huge time saver for sites with lots of content. 